it's um, puppy's first time outside. So let's get them out. Got a basket full of puppies. Here we go, guys. Look. What do you think of the grass? Let's get you all out. There we go. Oh, one more. Here we go. Let me put the basket over there. What do you think? Oh my gosh. I better stand up because I can't keep track of all of you. I will have to keep track of all of you. What do you think of grass? Hmm. It's pretty fun, isn't it? Middle of winter. June. <laughs> In Queensland, Australia, but you wouldn't know it. It's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. It's all right, Gypsy. Your babies are okay. Just have to keep track of them. Hello, you. <laughs> Where'd you go? It's fun, isn't it? Oop, she's off. Bounding around. Hello. You're having a lot of fun, aren't you? Let's get down a little bit lower. Hello. Oh, don't jump on the phone. Hi. <laughs> Oop, that's a bit too close, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll stand back up again because I can't take photos of you when you're that close. Where'd you all go? There we all are. So, one baby from Izzy, one baby from Lexi, and four babies from Gypsy. Hey, Gyps. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yes, you're Gypsy, aren't you? Oh, they're going to go for a run. As long as you don't um, crash onto the babies. Hey, babies. G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to do another pearl pour, uh, same as the one from that last video. And I told you I was going to take out the white and add cream instead. So I've done that. That's the cream. And hopefully I'll be a little bit happier with it. So if you missed that video, I will link it um, up above in the corner. So you can just, of the video, you can just um, click on that. Oh, I haven't got my cup. Um, so everything else is exactly the same. I'm using Floetrol for the pouring medium. Um, the gold is the Extreme Sheen 24K. It's mixed equal parts with Floetrol. That's what gives you your beautiful pearls that pop up. The black is the Artist Loft Black and it's been mixed equal parts with Flow Troll and just a tiny splash of water. I reduced it this time just to see if it makes any difference. And then all these brown tones, they're all the Montmartre. So we're, the experiment was trying to see if a different brand other than Liquitex Basics would help create pearls and it does with the Montmartre, so yay! because it's much cheaper than Liquitex Basics here in Australia. So that's the Burnt Umber, that's the dark one. And then that one there is Burnt Sienna. I don't like how orange it is, so I just added a little blob of the dark brown. That one is Burnt Sienna. No, sorry, it's not. Um, that's Burnt Sienna. This one's Raw Sienna. Oh confused with them all and then that one's just the cream so that's basically white with a little blob of the brown in it to make it cream okay and they are mixed two parts flow troll to one part Montmartre paint no water when I'll use the Equitex basics I have to add water because it's thicker so the gold is going to go onto the canvas first it's going to be our puddle and then we're going to pour the paint into that so let's get going. Uh, the other thing we should probably be aware of, um, when you pour your paint out, what's in the bottom, 
what goes in first comes out last so I think what I did wrong in the last one I probably put too much white in because you're doing little tiny squiggles of white at the end of your pour um, but it spreads out a lot so maybe put less in the middle uh, less in the bottom to start with and then more on the outside because the outside's bigger does that make sense to you hope so all right let's start with some black so I'll do three layers of black bottom middle and top and just two layers of the other but I'm going to put probably just a third in the bottom first in the first layer and then more on the outside those are very similar those two colors don't know how they're going to go and then the black so that's about a third in there black does feel a touch thicker and now the rest of it because it will spread out more it's got more area to cover hope that makes sense to you anyway I'm going to see if that works just so that I don't get too much white or light colors in the center because you know it's only little and that's bigger am I explaining myself properly I hope so all right use all this up now scrape it all out and this one and then the chocolate and our black finish off with the black so start with black finish with black I like the way the pearls pop up in the black and someone said to me do you have to use black or can you use a different color well you can use whatever color you like but I would suggest having like a really dark color so if you're doing blues have a dark dark navy because it just makes your gold pop more you know rather than having too pale a color right so we put that aside for a minute pour out our beautiful shimmery gold look at that just a gorgeous color I've only got one bottle of gold left actually I need to get some more I get it from um, craft online in Cunder Park which is only five minutes from me But there are other places in Australia that sell it. Just have to do a Google search, really. Google knows everything. Okay, now I'm going to pinch my cup. Um, I'm going to see what it looks like with a straight pour. If I don't like it, then I'll change to a, a, a jiggle. But let's see what it looks like with a straight pour to begin with. We're we getting some little features and things happening effects yeah I don't really like that let's go let's jiggle 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 I just like those little fingerlings you get you know and then as you get closer go a bit slower looks quite pale still doesn't it with the cream Let's get that black out as much as possible so we can have a dark center. But what you put in first kind of gets stuck to the bottom of the cup. So you do lose a lot of it. So if you want a lot of black in your center, you may want to put a little bit more in because it's kind of stuck in there now. It doesn't come out, does it? Right, now don't torch. We're going to go over each corner first. Uh, I might do this one first actually because there's a lot of gold there. Over each corner, come back. Next corner, come back. Hopefully I won't have any big blobs in it this time. Don't torch yet. We're going to do it later. Off we go. See the black's rolling over the gold? That's what you want. Over. I'll fix up that corner later. Over. Back to the middle over this corner come back I'll turn it around so that you can see what I'm doing come back to the middle 
already got some pearls popping up. That's from the, the paint rubbing against other paint. Because people say to me, do you put silicone in? No, how does it work? I, I don't know, it just does. I think it's just the reaction of the paint. But it, it only does it if it, you know, you're rubbing the paint against other paint. So, I don't know, some kind of chemical reaction. So this corner here just needs to come back again because I need that to rub over the gold again to create the pearls. But we've got pearls popping up over here already. So don't keep stretching, otherwise they're gonna lose their shape. All right, let me just wipe my hands. Hopefully my dogs won't bark. Shut the door. Oh, they're barking at something. I don't know what. I'll shut the door. They always want to come in and be here while I'm painting. They've got a bed under the table. But um, I don't know. Something sets them off and then they go off barking. Right. So what do we think of those colours? Um, run your little palette knife underneath. Catch the sides. Do that pretty soon because the paint wants to keep dragging off the edges so do that and that'll just make it a little bit lighter and it won't drag down too much now if you're not happy with your com your confirmation that's just too bad so sad you can't tilt this anymore otherwise you're going to overstretch these beautiful round pearls and they're going to lose their shape and they'll go all wonky so just over each side over each corner and leave it now i'm going to torch butane torch and I'm not going to do the edges, I'm just going to do sort of around inside of where I see those pearls. Because that's going to encourage more pearls to pop up. I don't want to torch over the top of the pearls I've already got. Because I don't want them getting any bigger and, and wonkier. Now if you're doing these, this sort of pour and you're not getting any pearls, I'd say you've either got your mix too thick and the pearls can't pop through or you're using too much paint and when you've got too much on here again the paint's going to be really thick and the pearls won't come up so it's a very fine line you have to have just enough to cover but not so much that you've got it really thick left on the surface because it just won't work I actually really like this one <laughs> still getting a bit of a strange effect from the cream I guess it's just the white reacting because it's got the um, white in the cream it's doing little weird things it's probably just the white now don't get too close and burn your paint will you I think I got a little bit too close there in the black all right so that's looking pretty good and as usual I will put you on pause for 10 minutes I'll clean up my mess I'll do my corners and I will come back to you in a little while. Let's just zoom you in a little bit. All right, back soon. Hey guys, what do you think of this one? Do you like it better? I'll show the other one. It's still really wet, so hopefully it won't drop paint into this one. The pearls are a little bit smaller. Might be because I didn't add quite a, as big a splash of water into the black. So they are looking really pretty. See how they separated there? This cream, it's an opaque because it's, it's mainly white. So I've got a big block of cream there with the little pearls in it. Right, let me grab the other one. This one's, it's very gold. I actually don't know which one I prefer out of the two now. This one's got the more white in it. And that one obviously has got the cream in it. So the white's are quite a lot nice stark contrast between the other colours and the gold. But I don't know, which do you prefer? Do you have a preference? I've got paint all over my hands. Let me just wipe them. And then I can take you down for a bit of a close-up. So, but yeah, let me know which one you prefer. I still do like, I do like the, the Liquitex Basics. I don't get any, that was the blue one. 
don't get any of the like paint splitting I guess um, like it's done in here and then that was the the gold with the red and yellow and orange so totally different look you know because I've gone with browns and also a different brand of paint but I just wanted to show you that you could use a different brand of paint and still get pearls popping up but just in here it may be because it's an opaque color the white or the cream it's basically white with a little bit of brown in it We've got beautiful pearls so it was pretty easy to do hey so have a try with other brands maybe I don't think it probably matters really about the brand it's more about your consistency can't really show the the shimmer shimmer Let's see if I can pick up the shimmer shimmer uh, someone's got a chainsaw outside don't they know I'm videoing the nerve of them I need to put a sign outside no noise videoing <laughs> all right there's that horrible ring light just seeing if I can pick up the the glittery gold The chocolate brown, there's a bit there on the left, hasn't really come to the party a lot, has it? All right, I'm going to go because that noise is disruptive. So, um, yeah, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed those little pearl pour videos. I've done four now, so I don't know that I want to do any more. Um, I may do one like in purples. Purples and pinks? Does anybody want to see purples and pinks? And maybe we could try a silver pearl. We'll see how we go. Alright, thanks for watching you guys. Love you all. Stay safe. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.